everyone welcome back to another video oops that was a mistake right welcome back i have got some bits here that i want to use i bought these roses from shein and i was surprised at how blooming gorgeous they are so i want to use those in a set of nails today and i grabbed my nail sugar decals these ones are the spring birds i thought these would be perfect with the roses oh it's just me just fiddling with my light <laughs> Um, yeah I love those and then also I grabbed the nail sugar diamond dust which should be a staple in your collection and then I'm also going to use lotus fever from madame glam this is part of their new collection which is a really gorgeous one okay while we're on the subject of madame glam I just want to let you know that they are having a 50% off event site-wide on a minimum of free products and this will be um this will be on April the 15th and 16th and you can use code NATMUG50 to save 50% off on those two days. Um, I'll put a post somewhere as well so that you can find the information but I just wanted to let you know. So if you need to, if you need to stock up or you just want to treat yourself, use that code and you'll save 50% bargain absolute bargain right i've put two coats of lotus fever onto these nails i've cured them for 60 seconds and then i've gone ahead and applied a base coat because their new formula doesn't seem to have a tacky layer and i need a tacky layer for these nails so that's why i've added the base coat <clears throat> we're going to start with the look at this glitter oh my days it's an absolute stunner so you can save 10 percent on nail sugar products using my code natmug10 i love their decals so much they're so lovely i'm going to burnish the diamond dust glitter into the tacky layer on the base coat if your nails have a tacky layer already or gel polish sorry then you won't have to apply the base coat but you grab a brush with um, kind of hard-ish, softish bristles, more sort of a, like this. They're, they're soft bristles, but they're quite rigid. And I find this brush really good for burnishing the glitter into the tacky layer. And I will keep brushing until I've got off a lot of the excess. And you'll be left with these bits of glitter that are lying flat on the nail. So when you come to top coat, it shouldn't be too um the nail shouldn't be what's the word it shouldn't be lumpy bumpy see look how lovely that looks already oh my goodness right these are the spring birds water decals again you can save 10 percent on any of nail sugar decals using my code natmug10 you want to decide which ones you're going to use i'm going to put these on two nails and when i do decals i like to cut off a lot of the excess so you can see on the paper towel now how much I've cut off from around the decal. Grab some water and a stamper. Give the stamper a quick clean with a lint roller. Pop your decal. I'm gonna leave this in real time, okay? <clears throat> like sometimes I say, like I'll say in the video, just leave it for several seconds and then and then I skip forward. But I'm gonna show you in this video exactly how quick this process is. So my decal is upside down. I'm gonna dampen the back with some water. Now you don't wanna oversaturate the decal, but you want it wet, not wet, you want it, I'm gonna say moist, sorry, it's the word, yes it is. Um, it needs to be damp, dampened. You'll probably notice that the, the decal will suck up some of that water. I like to add a little bit more on if it does that. And then, after several seconds, <laughs> You're just look, you're going to be able to start moving the backing off the decal. It's just going to slide off, and then I will just dab with my finger to get off any excess water, and then it's ready to stamp onto the tacky layer of my gel polish. This one I'm going to put in the top right-hand corner. You just stamp it on like you would your stamping design. Oh, look at them. I love them. I can't believe I've not used these yet. And then this other one that I've done, I've done exactly the same thing. And I'm going to stamp this on the bottom left. Actually, it's kind of just the bottom. But there we go. Right, now we're ready for the next bit. I'm going to top coat. I'm going to use Velvet Matte Top Coat because I want to add crystals. And I like to add crystals to a matte top coated nail. Um, if you are going to leave these shiny... 
I would top coat afterwards so that you can top coat around the crystals and the roses and that will just make them last a bit longer uh but yeah um also i do i do these designs for youtube and i personally think they look nicer on matte so i am doing this more for aesthetic reasons but if you if you you know if you want longevity then top coat around them anyway look how absolutely gorgeous these are don't they look really realistic i had to skip forward because this one decided to fall off but there we go look i'm gonna zoom in aren't they amazing I got two different kinds. I got the one in the, the little tub, which I prefer ever so slightly. Um, and then I got some in a bag. And then I also got a, a bag of these, these leaves that look really good as well. And this bag that I got here comes with some little leaves inside as well. And then there's also these little pearls inside as well, which make really nice. I love pearls with crystals. I think they look really nice sometimes. Look, these are the roses. Sorry, I just burped. I've just eaten my dinner. It's very late. It's half past six, so this video is going to be a little bit late. All right. Okay, this is our, these are Preciosa white opal crystals. And then I've also got Preciosa rose opal crystals. And then I'm also going to use, uh, this is the Preciosa clear crystals. And you can save 10% on these using code NATMUG10. They are all from the Crystal Parade website, as is the Rachel Wilder's Crystal Fix. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to do one nail. And then the other one I'm going to do off camera. But I'm doing exactly the same thing. I just put one in one corner and one in the other. So I'm going to put each of... You might want to... Also, if you're doing this a client on a client, you might want to add a bit more crystal fix gem glue. Because I I might not add enough. Um, I mean, for, for the video, it's fine. But on a client, you might want to put a little bit more. Because, uh, yeah, you just want them to last. So I've put the pale blue rose and then... On either side of that, I'm putting those slightly smaller. Um, the, the pink inside those smaller rows, I felt like tied up with the decals. Ideally, I would have liked the blue rose to be slightly bluer, but I'm not going to grumble. Then I decided to add a little leaf and then a big leaf. And I'm kind of going to... I do go... It does go a bit blurry, but I do... Uh, what's the word? I do flash cure this as I go as well. So I'm just adding crystals just sort of wherever I think it needs a crystal and then lastly I think that's the last one I add a little leaf and that will then have a full 60 second cure in the lamp I'm going to do the same on this one as I said but in the other corner and then what I decided to do was using my Madame Glam gel paint I decided to add the word love across the nails because I just felt like it needed something else to tie the set together and I thought why not do that so these are Madame Glam's gel paints I absolutely love them they are quite possibly my most favorite at the moment of all the ones that I've used because they don't have a tacky layer so you can paint on top of a top coat now without having to top coat them again and they're just really nice to work with so I'm going to I'm going to skip forward no not going to skip forward I'm going to speed this up so you can see I accidentally for some reason forgot to record me finishing off the e so next next part you'll see is the finish set but I'm going to leave websites and discount codes below in my link tree link don't forget Madam Glam have got 50% off on the 15th and the 16th of April don't forget to save the code natmug50 treat yourself stock up whatever get whatever you like <laughs> or don't it's entirely up to you thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one love you bye